Hi there. I had a lot of questions about how to cut a pine cone to get these really cute flowers. I'm sure there's a lot of ways to do it. But this is how I did it. I live in an apartment so I don't have access to power tools. So I had to go out and buy one of these branch and stem pruners. I got this brand Corona. Look like this. Bought that at Lowe's. My pine cones. Small one. A little bit bigger. I've dried these in the oven. So they're ready to cut. I've got my phone filming on a little tripod here. It's a little bit harder to do this way, but this way I have my hands, both my hands free, so hopefully you can see how I do this. Alright, so I kind of look for a good spot there, I like that. Position my cutters in there. Try to get them in there as I go. Just kind of push them in. Here. Let's see if I can do this with a knock -in, without knocking the camera over. And, yep. Try to do this. Apply leverage. Sometimes you have to reposition it a couple times and break a few off. That's okay. You can use those too. Get it back in there. And sometimes I have to use both hands to get it to get enough force. There we go. Stuff flies everywhere. When I'm not filming, I put them in a paper bag and I kind of cut it with the inside the paper bag so I don't have stuff flying all over my desk. There you go. You can see how thick that is. This one wasn't as hard as this one. So, you can trim some of these off if you don't like the way it looks. Get it the way you like. It's kind of broken. And you can either use it this way or this way, whichever you prefer. And then you can either leave that like that or like that. Sometimes I like to. Depending on the size, sometimes you can get three good flowers out of there. Um, I like to cut again. Carefully. And this is not a lesson on how to keep your desk clean. There's stuff everywhere. And I save all of these little ones. You could glue them together, but I painted them green, like, and used them for leaves in one of the pieces, uh, finished projects that I have. Anyway, that's that's how I cut them. I'm sure there's other ways. There might even be better ways to do it, but that's the way I did it. It works for me. Anyway, see you next time on Vicarious Shenanigans. Thanks. Like, share, and subscribe if you feel like it.